Hi guys, sorry, let me back up. Back up from the camera. Um, so I just wanted to do a video. I have you guys on like this big tripod, so I was trying to make sure I can see where my phone is at, because I have to have it at a certain uh, direction in order for me to see. Okay, so I'm gonna try my best, and I don't wanna say every day I will upload a video, but I would like to, is what I'm trying to say. Because as we all know, this time has been really hard for a lot of us and you know I'm not gonna lie I was in like a little like I guess you call it a, like a funk like I don't want to upload videos I don't want to like I wanted to but I was just so sad like you know it's really hard to not be able to see your family members and to not be able to do gatherings and give hugs like that's my huge thing and like just hang out and dance together and like you know all that kind of jazz um, so I just thought that, um, well, you know, I need to just do videos and every day is closer to, um, the day that we're all able to kind of go back to normal again. That's my prayer. Honestly, as we all know, we know kind of the deadline and that, that is my prayer. I obviously want to make it clear. I want everyone protected, safe and healthy and all that kind of jazz. But my prayer is that we can get back to normal because you guys, we're in this together, and we do need to get back to normal. Um, and the fact of that, you know, there's, there's, sorry, I have like this knob on my dresser that's like falling off. Um, there's things that, guys, we just must go on, okay? But what I'm going to try my, really, I'm going to try my best to do is upload a video every day, not not just only for like myself to be like hey you need to do something but also for a couple reasons well for that but also to make you guys happy because i know there's a lot of people on you know youtube who are like well what's up with you know all these youtube channels and like you know posting videos you, you want to stay updated you know you want to know what's going on and especially through this time like what are we gonna do get on youtube and <laughs> not go anywhere mostly for the most part except for outside or whatever um and also, I also would like to grow this channel so even when, and I do post, like, I do post, but, you know, I know I'm not, like, a daily vlogger. I would love to do that, and I'm not going to say I'm not going to get back into that. But, um, so, anyways, I, I want to, um, be able to, um, keep, keep this channel growing and going even when this thing is over with, basically. So, okay, anyways. Um, you know what? I want to get back into daily vlogging, but regardless, whether it's daily vlogging or videos, I would like to keep posting videos. Um, so I don't really want to use the excuse I don't have a video camera, um, because I still have quality content and I think that's okay. That doesn't mean one day I would like a camera, but that also doesn't mean that I'm not open to just keep filming the way I do for like as long as I do YouTube. Like if that's, that's what needs to happen, that's totally okay. I just, I just want to have a good channel. I don't know. I've always missed, you know, holding the camera out. Hey, hi, you know. But on the same token, um, if filming is what you love to do, then just use your resources and film. And don't be afraid to do that. So I'm going to do that. Anyway, I'm going to tell you guys a quick story. I know it's like, it's really deep and it's like really hard to be quick, but I'm going to make it that way. I'm going to, I don't want to say water it down, but I'm going to water it down a little bit. Um, I did a video uh, probably last week, I think, something about... Um, I think it was like the day that will haunt her forever talking about my mom and, and when I had my first seizure. I want to talk about three years ago before I was on treatment. Um, the night before was a normal night. It was in January. We'd celebrated my brother's birthday um, and um, it, it was just a normal night. Like we played that nasty jelly bean game that everybody loves and hates. And, um, and so I hadn't been sick or anything. Um... <clears throat> I had been on Christmas break from school. Um, I was in college at the time and I was not feeling well. Like I wasn't sick, but I was like, I kept feeling weird. I don't know how to explain it. Like I'd wake up from a nap or just randomly I would get the shakes and I would get weird tastes in my mouth. And this happened from November to, to March. Um, but when it started in November and December, we didn't know what was going on. So we kept che checking my temperature because we thought, oh, she might have a fever or you know, the flu was kind of going around and I was not sick. I didn't even have a temperature. Um, so anyway, so we celebrated my brother's birthday, January 3rd, um, 2017, 5.30 a.m. Our world was turned completely upside down. Um, I woke up, 
um, and started to have a really bad seizure. Like my body started shaking. I had the aura in my mouth. We do have rescue treatment. So um, we knew um, we knew what it was when it happened, but normally they go away after two minutes. And so I thought this is gonna be like a three minute one. It's gonna be bad, then it's gonna go away. Um, and I even get chills just talking about it because I remember when I first started having those little seizures, they would only last a couple minutes, they go away. So this one, um, it was five minutes, you guys. It was five minutes. Uh, I was smacking myself in the face. I, I was trying to call my mom to get her to come upstairs because I was having a seizure and I dropped my phone. Like I couldn't hold onto my phone. That's when I knew something is getting bad. Um, finally, I was able to call her. I said, come upstairs right now. I'm having a seizure. That's all I could get out of my mouth. She came upstairs. She ran up and that, thank goodness. Um, so on and off, the seizure kept going on and on. And, and um, the first one lasted at least five minutes. I mean, at least. Um, we don't know how long, really, but it was at least five minutes long. And so then it would stop, but then they kept happening. I had probably and this is not an over exaggeration within an hour i had probably 100 of those um some of them were a little shorter but for the most part that day they were the same amount of time like they'd be five to ten minutes long they would stop and they would start so some might be like two minutes and but some might be like five and y'all it was a bad it was not good um i could not eat um my face like the side of my face hurt for like two weeks like it was it was kind of i don't want to use the word paralyzed but i couldn't move it so whatever word you want to use i literally could not move the left side of my face for a week and a half after this happened um i remember like moving my jaw and it just pain the pain was bad and um and so we went through test after test after test i had so many seizures that um even that day alone that um my body was impaired like i got i do have cerebral palsy but they did it make it worse like i i'm not um undermining the fact that i have cerebral palsy but i was i used to be a lot stronger than i am now and i'm a lot stronger in a lot of other ways but i'm just being honest like i i um i had so many seizures from my back and waist down it it, it just uh took a toll on my body honestly and so then um what happened was basically this went on for since till February um went and saw the pediatric neurologist several times he said if this doesn't stop I'm gonna have to put you on treatment well it didn't stop and um and so finally he put me on treatment in February and I will say the first morning I woke up in three months without having a seizure was one of the best days ever. And so, um, you know, you do have a couple of breakthroughs when you were on, when you get first, when you first get put on treatment, you can, I'm not gonna say everybody does, but you can. And I did, but they weren't that bad. Like they were totally, um, like two minutes long and they didn't last that long at all. And it was, it was not a huge deal. Um, then in March, I had a breakthrough one when I woke up and that's when he decided treatment three times a day. We may have some hiccups here or there, but that is nothing compared to what I have gone through. Normally, I only have a seizure if I, um, if I have a fever, um, or, um, sometimes it just can randomly happen if my body is experiencing a lot of stress due to physical exercise or physical activity or whatever. It doesn't matter. Like sometimes you just have hiccups and you can't really explain them. But the good thing is, um, I am on treatment. It's working very well. And, um, for that, I'm very grateful. Like literally, I can't believe it's almost been three years. And the thing is I have what they call temporal lobe epilepsy. So I have, um, partial seizures and I've had myoclonic seizures and I've had absent, absent seizures, uh, staring seizures. I mean, I've literally pretty much had every seizure you can have. Um, I had seizures that were, uh, partial and turned into the clonic ones where I'm out and I don't know what's happening. We haven't had too many of those, but there have been a, a couple of those and those were scary. Um, but anyways, so what I want to say is like, I'm just very thankful. And I, I recorded this video because I just want, I promised you guys I would, 
but I just haven't really done it yet. <laughs> and also, um, I just wanted to say that for all you doctors out there or for those who who do have epilepsy or um, any doctor, like I appreciate you, I appreciate what you do. Um, I know your job is not easy, especially right now, but I know your job is not easy. Just know that people like me appreciate people like you. And um, I have the best pediatric neurologist in the state um, for me. Like I'm, I'm not saying no, somebody else is a better doctor, but for me, I honestly have, have the best. Um, he takes really good care of me and um, I'm just very grateful. So um, yeah, that is my um, seizure story, but I will tell you that like, it impaired my memory, so like I don't have a lot of memory of of things throughout those months, which is very hard because I don't even remember like Christmas Day. Like I remember bits and pieces of things, but I don't remember a lot of things. I do remember things from before then and from after then, but I don't remember um, things around that time. I will also say that sometimes I do have a hard time memorizing, remembering certain things. Like some people will literally have to repeatedly bring it up to me and then it will come back, but sometimes it's just hard. And that's part of my seizure treatment, um, slowing down my brain. And that's just part of what, what honestly my brain and my body went through. Um, and that's what we were explained as well. So, um, I am doing good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll do more videos for you guys. But thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys soon. Hope everyone is staying safe and well. And get out there and enjoy life a little bit. Okay.